Aloha everybody, this is Little One Hawaii. Well, the afternoon <coughs> is closing and I've been doing some chores, plus I've been doing a little bit of needlework and I've been um, sort of finishing up a few things and I think I mentioned the previous videos that I was doing a little series on Shakespeare's ladies. These are from his plays. And um, I did a little bit of embroidery too. When I need a small piece of embroidery, just to more or less a motive. I often make kind of like a little sapler. And this is one I made. Um, I have some lily of the valley I put there and some roses and some rosebuds and some open sort of daisies there. And then I just used an old piece of, oh, I think it's linen from a detail from France. And it's kind of nice just looking at it like that. But normally what I would do is cut it into small pieces spray the edges and then applicate it onto something that I might like. But it's kind of pretty just like that. You could use that as a fabric book page. Okay, so now I'm going to show you this quick and easy book. So what you do is you take a piece of muslin or other fabric and cut it two feet long. I'll just go slowly. It's two feet long. And it's about three and a half inches wide. Then on the fabric, I just applique different things like I've put some labels that I printed off on my printer, French labels. I've got a piece of a flower. Um, it's actually lavender, but it could be any flower, sort of genetic blossom. And then there's the picture from one of um, Shakespeare's ladies. Then I cut some motifs from some old linens. This is a pansy. Another printed item. Some bits and pieces here from the materials I printed off. And under there, if you lift it up, there's a little, kind of like a little charm, and it's got three ladies on it. And there's another one. So I put two of these images on, two of those, to pretty much signify that this is another one of those um, Shakespeare things. And then on the bottoms I put some lace right here, some old doily or something. Cut, a, cut this butterfly out of a piece of embroidered linen I had, and here's another label. And on this side I also put some lace at the bottom. So that's all that's needed. Just two pieces of lace. As you see the requirements are very slim. You don't need much. You do need now to fold this in half and you fold it in the middle just this is for placement right now before I sew you fold it in the middle so once you've done that you're going to sew or I'm going to sew the two ends those two ends together and then I'm going to sew down the center in other words it'll be like this so this is how it's going to be when it's finished now normally I don't put um, that I think it's called Wonder Under, that sticky stuff. It's glued both sides, but this time I thought I would, just to see how it worked out, kind of give the pages a little more substance. So I've ironed on a piece of Wonder Under. I think that's what it's called. I'm not totally sure, but you know the stuff. It's got paper and then it's sticky on both sides. And then, um, there, yeah, I've done that. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by folding it. You have to be sure you fold it, you know, completely in half. By the way, you might notice that I've put some lace there that's going to be to tie it. Tie it all together. And I just double check on both sides to make sure everything's matching. Let me see, is that right? Yep. And I'm going to iron it. Stick it. And it doesn't have to be too firmly stuck at this point. You can come back and press it later just to put the creases in place and make sure everything's right. I don't know whether you're like me, but I usually iron and then I think, oh, that's not right. <laughs> I have to undo it. So I don't press it on too hard. And then when you've done all this, you can decide which you want as the front. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, there you go. Put the iron out of the way. 
Now I'm going to go, let me turn this. I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to go and go over. Hope that the camera doesn't fall over because I've got the most rickety thing there. So I'm going to just sew. I need new equipment. Like most people, I need new equipment. But anyway, I make do. So I'm just using a matching thread. And I always make the stitch just a little longer. No, I don't want to go too fast. So I'm just sewing the end with the ties. And I should go right down through the lace. These are great little books. You can make them any size. The only thing is the, um, the dimensions have to be even numbers for the length so that it will fold correctly. So now... It, I've done that. I've sewn down the side, that or the end, I should say. Now all I need to do to secure it is sew in the middle. I hope this is right. I'm going to go right there. You can add a lot more to this. This is just a quick one, um, but you can certainly add lace on the top. You can add trim. You can do all kinds of things. Okay, so there's the middle sewn right there and then the end is sewn. So that's all the sewing there is to that. I have of course stitched all these patches and so forth on previously. Now you can do this folded in half and there's your book. There it is. Oops. Whether I'm in camera range. Anyway, this, 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 these are the ties and you can certainly tie them like that and tie them and then um, the other thing I have to do really is cut the threads and decide which I want for the front I could use Shakespeare's lady on the front or I could do it this way and I could put the butterfly on the front with the label from front and that's kind of nice because the lace hangs down a little more kind of like that so if I did that what I would do is take the lace excuse me for a minute probably off camera way ok so I would take the lace around and then go ahead and just tie it I can't have to put this down sorry it's almost dinner time in Hawaii and I usually sit on my lanai and do a crossword puzzle or paint a picture or read a book and have my dinner out there. I have my main meal usually in the middle of the day because it's so hot and then at night it's, you know, I just have something like cheese and crackers and wine or something like that. Okay, so there's the little book. I'm going to put that down and pick up the camera so you can see it. There you go. So there's the little book and it is four, let me see, it's two, four pages of course you can make these smaller, you could make them that size, half size if you wanted to that would be fine and this is this is the back of the book of course that's going right over a face, that's the back of the book kind of cute if you don't want that as the front, I think I kind of like that as the front though but if you don't you can come up with the other front which I showed you and that had the picture of one of Shakespeare's women. The only th problem I, I would have with this is I've got those flowers that I added and I added those. Those are supposed to the, they don't look like it but they're supposed to be rosemary and one of the quotes from Shakespeare was and there's rosemary and that's for thoughts. No, rosemary that's for remembrance I think and pansies that's for thoughts or vice versa. But anyway, I love those quotes. I have to look up the, whether it's pansies or rosemary that's for thoughts and, and um, remembrance. But anyway, that's just from... I love sh all of Shakespeare's poems. Anyway, one more look at that. And some of my stitching here. You know, I'm a big-time embroiderer. Love to embroider. Have my work published. I published a book on 
embroidery years ago. Still got a few copies hanging around because the designs are so outdated. <laughs> oh my goodness. Looking back, oh my goodness. But anyway, I'm probably going to sell them or give them away or something. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.